Hi, you fam. Welcome back. Hope you guys are having a great day. It's reaction time once again. What's playing, Dan? We're watching Sicario. Ooh, hell yeah. Denis Villeneuve, fam. I'm so ready for this. How about you? I've heard a lot of good things about it, so yeah, I expect a good show. All right. Well, let's get into it. Cheers to you, fam. Enjoy. Didn't know that. I didn't either. I assumed it was a Spanish word. Oh, oh it is. I've been to Chandler, Arizona. Have you really? Yes, I have. Okay, then. <laughs> Look like that. I mean, it's kind of in the desert, so. Just... Wow. Oh, oh, they have hostages. FBI. Oh my God. Oh. Jesus. He was waiting for them. She's damn lucky. I Look where the shot is. She dove at the right time. Don't tell me they put people on the wall. Oh my god, they did. So that's why the place looks like it's been plastered. That's disturbing. Well, they were dead already, at least. It looks like some cartel shit. Mm-hmm. Good lord. They're all over the place. How many people? This whole house is just people. That is so disturbing. How many total? We've got 15 in this hall here, about 20 in the back bedroom. We haven't even checked the attic under the cross space. What? That's a massacre! So you got 35 and you haven't gone over the whole house. This one of the houses owned by Manuel Diaz? No way to connect him, but he owns it. Oh. Oh, what we got there? <gasps> oh! Holy shit! They're prepared for that. What the hell is going on already? Oh. Oh no. Oh. Oh god. It is just caked in her, isn't it? There will be pressure in Washington to explain how such a dramatic outrage could happen so deep inside the American heartland. No shit. Some 42. illegal immigrants who were tied Jesus. to a ransom. 42 bodies in one house? Manuel Diaz works for the Sonora cartel. What do you know about his brother? I wasn't aware he had one. Guillermo. His cousin is Fausto Alarcón. I don't know who that is. No one does. He's off the grid. So why, why are you, you asking her that? Yeah. The State Department is pulling an agent from the field that specializes in responding to escalated cartel activity. He'll be part of the team. You meet up with him at Luke uh, tomorrow? Yeah, we're gonna go see Guillermo. Diaz's brother. That's the one. All right, do y'all have to be weird about it? Yes. FBI protocol. Think very hard before you respond. You want to be a part of this? Do we get an opportunity of the men responsible for today? The men who are really responsible for today, yeah. I'll volunteer. I would have thought a lot harder than that. <laughs> You're dealing with some bad guys. You about that? Yeah. Mm. Wow. Bit early, but okay. No judge. He's a cop. You might have to drink if you have that job in Mexico. Mmm. Are you taking this? Yep. I want the best for you. Private jet. Nice. Well, good to see you, sir. Mm -hmm. Always loved Benicio Del Toro. Fine actor. You ever been to Juarez before? We're going to El Paso, right? Yeah. I... <laughs> okay. He's already asleep. She really is thrust in here with some damn strangers. She is. She barely even knows what she's into. Right. This shot reminds me of Dune. The ornithopters flying over the sand. Yeah. You can see the plane shattered yeah. out there. Denise's really good at landscaping like that. Mm hmm. Really shows how big the world is. <laughs> Oh, you could hear his dream. Yeah. He's got a past. Oh, yeah. The cartels in Mexico are your specialty. Yeah. Is there anything I should know? Uh, you're asking me how a watch works. For now, let's just keep an eye on the time. Maybe you can give her more information than that. About to say, that wasn't any information. Yeah, I'd be very good teammates here. How are you feeling? Well, when I pee, it burns. Oh, oh no. Maybe it's going to Rio. Okay, that's TMI. I'm about to say, man, I wanted info on the uh, mission, not, yeah. not your bladder. The most likely spots for an attempt will be at the exchange and at the border crossing on the return. Delta's Team 1 will be the lead vehicle. Delta, if you can identify yourself so everyone knows who to hide behind if shit hits the fan. There's a lot of coordination just to move a guy. I'm about to say, this is the most info she's gotten. And they missed half the meeting. Yeah. Have you ever been over there? No. <laughs> I worked in the waters. I was a prosecutor. Oh. Oh, I go where I'm sent. Where were you sent from? Cartagena. Colombia. Hmm. 
Nothing will make sense to your American ears. But in the end, you will understand. Could try explaining it now. Yeah, we're all ears. I just want to know what I'm getting into. Do you want to find the guys responsible, yes or no? Yes. Yes? Yes. This is where we start. It's starting to sound shady now. It, it does, very shady. Yeah. War of 1900s, President Taft went to visit President Diaz. It took 4,000 men with him. <laughs> and it almost was called off. Some guy going to walk right up to Taft and just blow his brains out. He wasn't going to get far. <laughs> no. Nothing inconspicuous about that at all. Yeah, a bunch of black SUVs in the VIP lane. Yeah, nothing weird about that at all. Should have gone in in uh, El Camino's. <laughs> oh, jeez. Well, not... You know what? They're not planning on being <laughs> subtle here. <laughs> yeah, Mexican police would really give it away. Yeah, they're going to kick somebody's ass. <laughs> That's what they're doing. Welcome to water. Oh my, oh god. my god. Good god. They're all missing their heads. They've too. been dismembered. Jesus. I'm just hanging out there in public. All these kids and other people's walking outside and see that. They probably see it all the time. That's messed up. Don't get involved with these guys. That's the, that's the message there. It's brilliant what they do. When they mutilate a body like that, they make people think they must deserve such a death because they did something. Psychology. Yeah. You're getting fired. And look at all the children missing, too. Jesus. Good lord. All this just to get there? And they have to get back. And they have to get, yeah. Keep an eye out for the state police. They're not always the good guys. Damn. You can't trust anybody. She can't trust anybody at all. No. She has no information and she's surrounded by enemies. Just everywhere you go is potential danger. Yeah. Who did they just load in that car? I'm assuming that's Guillermo. You think so? Yeah. Is that one of ours? Watch the right, watch the right. No, that's a lone wolf. Oh. Bridge is one click out. Road is clear. Jeez, feels so tense. Ooh, now they're starting to travel. Car broke down, up ahead. You need to sort it out. It's a bad spot to be. You can't move. Yeah, you're sitting ducks and you're pretty easily spotted. Who's it gonna be? You know there's a wolf hiding in the sheep here. That's a whole car full of them. Those look like bad dudes. Red and Paula, two lanes over on my tent. Copy that. There's another one. Gun. Yep. Gun. Gun left. Do they want any smoke? I think they're gonna try it. I feel like they don't have a choice. They have to. Or it'll be them hanging from a freaking bridge. Yeah. That's a scary situation. No move! No, 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 no. Compas. Fuerte la pistola. Tírela. They got you, dead bang. You're not going to survive. Quieren morir. Jesus. They made short work of that. Is he in a fight? Don't do it. Saw the other car. Morons. Went down in seconds. Good shot. Good shot. I didn't even notice that. Mm -mm. That looked like a cop, too. I think it was. No shit. <laughs> you think? They won't even make the papers in El Paso. Oh, well, maybe not. Hmm. They might have some media lockdown on that. The only good thing is as tense as that situation was they got out of it with no casualties. They just inflicted some of their own. Yeah. Those Delta Force guys just made really short work of it. Jeez. Oh, yeah. A little nutty, huh? Yeah, that was fucking illegal. <laughs> yeah. What is is what happens when they dig in. What this is, is what it. What am I doing here? What you're doing here is you're giving us the opportunity to shake the tree and create chaos. Honestly, they tried to de-escalate the situation. The other guys wanted to shoot first. Oh, yeah. You didn't think we'd get you here, did you? No hablo inglés. No hablo inglés. You know, I brought an old buddy of yours. I bet you hablo to him. They're going to torture him is what it feels like. In that room, yeah. Oh, yeah. There's rumors of a tunnel. Fausto's main road into Arizona. If you're doing what I think you're doing, that's the best place to cross. We're going to learn about this guy. Oh, yeah. He's going to have a story to tell. I'm going to step out. Oh, shit. Oh, they turned off the camera. Oh, yeah. What do you keep looking at me for? No, I'm listening glass, remember? Yeah, you had your chance. <laughs> I have no clue what he's doing to him right now. I don't now. either. He had his junk up in his face, though. Want to see something cool? 
happens all the time, probably. Yep. Yep. Good lord, an explosion in the middle of town. What happens when you chop the head off a chicken? Yeah. Oh my god. There's no peace in that in that kind of city. Mm. -mm. It's chaos. And what happened in El Paso? We weren't in El Paso. We were in Mexico. Yeah. if they're all innocent fo folks just who try to cross the border. Yeah, they're probably getting deported. You're on this towel? In the house? You're still on this towel? He's looking for somebody very specific. He's looking for somebody who knows about the tunnel yeah. in Arizo Arizona, yeah. Everything okay? I want to know the objective for our walk, period. You can go. I didn't ask you to be here. She did. I walked too. Oh, is she in too deep now? She's seen things. Heard names. We are going to make enough noise that Manuel Diaz is called back to Mexico to see his boss. His name is Fausto Arcon. To find him would be like discovering a vaccine. Wow. They put a lot of value on him. To... Well, you saw what life was like in the city, though. Yeah. It's amazing how it all comes down to just one freaking person, though. Take down the head of the cartel and it stops. Yeah. What's the password? Moron. <laughs> <laughs> Lucky guess. Zonas que cruzan por aquí. Son las mulas y los pollos. Ellos esconden la entrada de detrás de un carro viejo y. So Guillermo was telling the truth. We are gonna fuck with Manuel Diaz's wallet. Nothing gets cartel big wigs out of the, out of their office quicker than that. We kill the guys. We don't take the money. Yep. A young looking guy too. Yeah. What are they watching? Looks like a bank. Oh, they're looking for the mules. Trying, who are trying to launder the money, I think. If she tries to eat that deposit receipt, you know, I'm gonna get right out of her, you hear me? <laughs> <laughs> I bet we're gonna see that. <laughs> Don't eat it. I think she tried. <laughs> he just pulled it out. What do you got? A mobile money launderer. Yep. Pack it up. Yep, all that valuable cash. You start to miss that after after enough of it doesn't make it into your accounts. Mm-hmm. You coming? Oh, don't go in the bank. This is something we can actually build a case on. Don't go in the bank, Kate. Where are you going? She's going in the bank. <laughs> yeah, there's security footage in there. Yeah, the cartels have access to that stuff too, you know. Especially if this is one of their banks. You better believe they've got it. All they do is bribe the security guys. Yeah. Oh, they're probably looking at live feeds. That could be too. This is a bank line of credit. So you make payments over what you owe. It shows up as a negative loan balance. It's never reported to anyone. How much does he have? Oh my god. Lots of money. <laughs> <laughs> I saw a lot of commas in there, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. Here's the money rolls. $9,000 is deposited into this account every day in cash. Just under the reporting thresholds too. Advisors like Matt come in, stir the pot that cause the criminals to react and make mistakes. These are all opportunities to strike. The amount of red tape in your way. Jesus. If your fear is operating out of bounds, I am telling you, you are not. The boundary has been moved. Are we clear? Yes, sir. Things just keep getting shady here. <laughs> Honestly, I can't say I blame him too much, but at the same time, it's like, where do you draw the line? The sad that he said it's elected officials too, because at that point, the only way you make it stop is by unelecting them and... That's not gonna happen. Exactly. <laughs> she is seriously lost in thought. And I just saw John Bernthal at the bar. Did you? Yeah. That'd be great. Damn, man. What's going on? Man? Long time, man. Phoenix PD, Kate, my partner. How you doing? Oh, he's okay. Can I get you all another round? Yeah, sure. No, oh, what a what a good fella there. <laughs> Well, that's moving fast. That's what happens in bars, man. You gotta make your move. And besides, this is better than cigarettes right here. <laughs> You're right with you. <laughs> <laughs> one of the oh, no, oh my god. <laughs> He's involved. <laughs> He's the wrong man to be involved with. She opens her eyes and yeah. I mean, they could just be common bracelets. <laughs> no, the, he's a money. He's a mule. Sweet one. I just need a second. <sighs> yeah, it's that. <laughs> Yeah, you figured it out. Hey, come on, come on, come here. Stop, 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 stop. 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 Well, you're a freaking cartel member. Fucking stop! You did this. You did this. Wait, who the fuck? 
What the hell? Well, just in the nick of time. I thought he was going to pull that trigger. I thought he was too. You used me as bait. Now you used yourself as bait. I told you not to go in the bank. So they were waiting on him. Oh, yeah. <laughs> They're a lot smarter than I thought, man. Oh, yeah. God almighty. They're manipulating everything. Did he know that was going to happen? Yeah. Oh, wait, I don't know. <laughs> him? He couldn't have. It's okay, Reg. No way. He just feels stupid. <laughs> you think you know somebody. I he was afraid. Yeah. yeah. Want me to stay tonight? Or... No. I'm good. Kind of blocked. <laughs> you just can't win for losing. <laughs> How many other corrupt motherfuckers are you working with on this side of the border? <laughs> oh, Jesus. They fucked him up. <laughs> oh, he had it coming. Yeah. I'm the one who decides whether your daughter get federal protection or whether we post your ex-wife's address on the internet. Oh, wow. What? You're playing real dirty. This doxing, man. You can't do that. I'm fucked up, but I'm in over my fucking head right now. I'm sorry if I... Oh, oh, oh God. God. Oh, he's so deep in there. You're busting your drum. Okay, okay. So which phone do we start with? It's that one. It's the shitty one. That's the shitty one, yes, sir. The shitty one. The disposable one? Yeah. Yeah, makes sense. <laughs> For God's sake. I mean, he's enjoying this. Some good came out of this. You're going to get a lot of corrupt cops for this. Jesus, man. If the cartel ever finds that guy. Oh, he's dead. He just wanted to know what you know. You're after us, not you. Thank you. Tomorrow they'll call my Diaz back to Mexico. We'll cut a leg from them. A lot happened in a very short amount of time. There's still something about these guys, though. Didn't sit right with me. Yeah. I know that they're the kind of guys you want dealing with this, but there's still something going on there. It's definitely kind of sleazy the way they're handling things, but they're getting results. You got a high-powered rifle next to the bed there? Don't touch no. it. No. We still have another story on this guy. I don't get it either, man. They keep showing him. Something tells me these two groups are going to meet at the end of this movie. Right? He's got cartel written all over him, though. I think he does, too. So the man on here is being called back to Mexico. Just waiting for confirmation. There's the tunnel right there. All right, let's, uh, let's oh, clarify wow. the other. That's what that was. Okay. Just sitting in the middle of nowhere? Once on the Mexican side of the border, there'll be a small staging area, then another shaft will lead to the main warehouse and the road that returns to Mexico. But the mother of all diversions, boys. Need a lot of noise. Well, that's their specialty, man. They can do that, I think. Oh, yeah. This looks like confirmation. Here we go. The guy leaves his house, and that means he's going to Mexico. <laughs> Just be going to freaking Walmart, man. <laughs> I'm saying, yeah. <laughs> Those are special ops. Are we going in on this? No, you guys aren't really dressed for it. Then where are we going? Because CIA can't operate within U.S. borders without a domestic agency attached. I told you it'd be useful. So that's it. That's why I'm here. That's why you're here. Well, there we go. Uh -huh. I thought you were just there to learn, but no. <laughs> you're there because you're there because you got credentials. They don't. <laughs> okay, come on. Fuck with these people, man. They've been using us in the beginning. We don't have to do this. I need to know what they used us for. Doesn't matter what. Yes, it does. <laughs> They're getting results. Go along with it. Okay. Lots of drugs. Yep. He's just a mule. Yep. Using his cop car as cover, huh? Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I feel like that uh, that play has, that's the oldest trick in the book on this, too. For the average person, you wouldn't question a cop car driving down the street, nor would you interfere with it. No, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> I'm, ju I'm just not going to go to Juarez <laughs> at all. <laughs> yeah. Keep your fucking safeties on. Stay in the back. Don't shoot anyone on my fucking team. They're trained to use we weapons, too. I was going to say, we've used guns before. Yeah. I don't know, that's Delta. They like to work alone, so I can. I think I get, get his point, though. They don't like extras, as they call of duty off into the sunset. Pretty much, yeah. yeah right. <laughs> Beautiful scene, though. Mm-hmm. They disappear, though, into the darkness, too. It's, yeah. It's like, who knows what's out there? Make sure you're afraid of the dark. That's an interesting metaphor there, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Oh, I love this camera work right now. Interesting view of things, isn't it? Yes. It is so cool. They're right at the tunnel. Fifty meters. You're three o'clock. With the black and white, it almost looks like something out of a horror film. I know, but they're switching back and forth here. You got this vision that you can't really see much out of. Mm -hmm. Then you've got the black and white that you got a good view on. We can see everything. Yeah. But it's like in such a weird contrast that makes everything stand out. Yeah, I don't get it. Throw the fighters to you and make some noise. Don't follow me. I'll be fine. What are the rules of engagement? 
Weapons free, my friend. Oh, wow. If it moves, shoot it. Yeah, they certainly won't show you any mercy. Oh, kill somebody. This is just a cartel dude, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Boy, it's times like this you want them not to turn the lights on. That'll miss yet. I think the lights are on up ahead. Yep. That is a very intricate system. They're engaged up ahead. Mm-hmm. That's what I've been worried about. You have no cover down there. She's just walking into this with gunshots going on. Jesus. She is horrible about checking her corners. She really is. It's too late. Oh, Jesus. Yep. Don't stand there and look at it. Run if you're going to run. Oh, jeez. Too late. Wow. He just came out of nowhere. Freeze! Step away from him. Put that down. I mean it. Move away from him right now. Oh, Jesus. Don't ever point a weapon at me again. <laughs> Cut your breath. And get back up there. I guess he knew just where to shoot her. I don't know. He's just taking off with it with that car. Everybody knows who this guy is. There's something personal for him in all this. Oh yeah. Do you have my location? Roger, we have you. What do you mean? Silvio. Tengo un hijo. Sounded like a threat. <laughs> well, I mean, if they bring down the cartel, it will be good for his family. Yeah, these guys are all f messed up. Just relax. Just relax. You went up the wrong tunnel. You saw things you shouldn't have seen. Yeah, go on. What's your, what's your involvement here? Yeah. What is Medellin? Medellin refers to a time when one group controlled every aspect of the drug trade, providing a measure of order that we could control. And what you saw up there was Alejandro working toward returning that order. Interesting. Uh-huh. Alejandro works for anyone. Anyone who will turn him loose so he can get the person that cut off his wife's head. Oh, my God. And threw his daughter into a vat of acid. Good lord. So it's very personal for him. Hell yeah, it is. These people are nuts, man. They are nuts. I'm gonna fucking talk. No, you're not. Yeah. I'm gonna tell everyone what you did. That would be a major mistake. There's no reason for them to let you leave that place. Why would you say that? I think they might just set her up. So leave her tied up in Juarez somewhere. And just let things happen. And they confirm she has no family, so... Yeah. She's gonna look for her. Did they just pull over Diaz? Mm-hmm. Okay, don't say it that way. Yeah, <laughs> especially if you're working for him. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Shot them both. Wow. Yeah. He knows who you are. Mm -hmm. So it's still the plan, just going a different way about it. Yeah. This is... He's been the one guy to get you where you want to go. Good lord. I don't know if he meant that one at that time. I certainly hope not. No, but that's cartel talk, you know? Yeah. Poor Silvio. I feel bad for his family. He's just doing what he was told. He could have let him off the hook. He effing killed him. His wife and child dependent on that guy. Mm-hmm. That's more guys than you can deal with, I think. He does have the advantage that they don't know he's there. Yeah? Senor Diaz! Oh, shit. Oh, he already shot him. But he stabbed him. Oh, my God. Never mind. You were saying? Never mind anything I said. <laughs> anything! He's got the drop on them all. See, this guy's a pro. And he's got eyes in the skies, too? We're going blind. Nice place, though. Oh, yeah. Very nice villa. He's made it to the tippy top of this organization. I think so. 
Rachel. Oh, no. Every night, you have families killed. And yet, here you dine. So now you should be no different. You know what? That's a good point. Mm hmm Can't kill yourself a family man while you tear them apart. No kidding. The grieving lawyer. Your wife, you think she'd be proud of what you've become? You're not helping your case right now, buddy. Nope. Get that smirk off your face. Oh, yeah. Don't forget about my daughter. The wife knows English. Oh, yeah. Tojita. No fue personal. It was for him. Para mi sí. Mm-hmm. And that's the thing people don't realize. Your business is always personal to somebody else. Ahora vas a conocer a Dios. Oh, he did, too. Wow. He is not messing around. Made you watch him die first. That's an eye for an eye, for real. Jesus. Well. I didn't know he had it in him for the kids. I was kind of thinking he might do it, but I was... Hoping really hoping he didn't, yeah. huh? That's just going to make you even more hollow. I suppose in a way it goes back to the psychology. It's a message to the others. Don't mess with them. Yeah. I would recommend not standing on balconies for a while, Kate. I'm glad to see she hasn't been left in the tunnels. Sit down. Has he got his weapon out? I think he does. I can't tell. I think if he was going to kill you, he'd have done it. I need you to sign this piece of paper. Yeah. It basically says India. that everything we did was done by the book. So in other words, she'd be signing away her ability to blow the whistle on what they did. Yeah. I can't sign that. It's that or a bullet. Sign it. Man, she's in such a horrible position. God. You would be committing suicide, Kate. And it'll make it look like that, too. Yeah. She did it. She moved to a small town where the rule of law still exists. You will not survive here. You're not a wolf. And this is the land of wolves now. So are things better or worse? You know what's a good question? I don't know. But the point was to clean up the city, not make it worse. These guys are ten steps ahead of you. Don't do it. Not to mention this wouldn't be by the book. And they will not sign that for you. No, they will not. Do what he said. Man, I feel bad for her because they used her so bad. Oh, yeah, they did. She just gets shit out of it. And who? this is who I feel really bad for. Yeah. Dad is not coming home. Oh. Are they on the American side? What a great movie. What? Man, I'm so glad we watched that. That was awesome every bit of the way. It's a good mystery trying to figure out what they were up to there. It's a very morally ambiguous film. Oh yeah, make, make you question your own set of beliefs there, right? Like I'm sitting there looking at Kate like, okay, you guys are clearly operating outside the bounds of the law, but you're dealing with very, very terrible people. Is it necessary for you to take those extra steps? Maybe, maybe not. The way it ends there with the little boy and his mother having lost their father, it's one of those things where like, it really wasn't necessary for that guy to die. So you have to question who really are the good guys here and who are the bad guys. No kidding, right? Yeah. The cartel does things for one reason. Mm -hmm. You're doing them for another no matter what you tell yourselves or tell people there. Mm -hmm. And then there was, what'd you say, Alejandro. Yeah. And then there was him who was on his own mission altogether. Mm -hmm. No matter how much it helps the United States government along the way. He was obviously acting on for personal reasons. Yes. Yeah. And whoever he was employed by at the time didn't care. Mm -hmm. As long as it worked out for them too. Yeah. So yeah. You know, I'm sitting there listening to it, like the plan in a way makes sense. You get rid of all the multiple cartels and just have one and then that way you have some semblance of chaos because you don't have cartels fighting each other in the streets. You don't have No, you get rid of the chaos. Exactly. Yeah. But then in we kind of see they go through this whole plan, they take care of the guy, and then there's still random gunfire in the streets. Well, that's something I don't think you can ever get rid of there. 
It's it's not necessarily cartel related. I mean, it's meant that there is meant to tell you that it's still cartel related. Yeah. Which I guess to support your point there just says what did you really accomplish here? I mean, yeah, you got a few. You just cut the head off of one snake. You got some crooked cops off the street. You killed a few drug dealers. You took care of a tunnel and confiscated a whole bunch of drugs. But in the grand scheme of things there's still cartel violence occurring across yeah. Mexico. So more or less, you did nothing. You tore families apart to do it. Yes, you're right. And mm -hmm. on top of that, the cartel that he that he killed from the top there, they're probably still very active, nonetheless. And they're still, they still exist. Mm -hmm. You just took out the top leadership there. I believe he was also, you know, the, the code name Medellin, it's, it's Colombian there. Right. But he was also working for them too. Mm -hmm. is what it sounded like. You know, he wanted the Colombian cartel to be the one that was controlling things. So, am I right about that? I think that's what they said. Now, whether or not that's actually their goal, I don't know, I kind of find it hard to believe that you're going to have a bunch of Colombians come in and take over the Mexican drug trade. I was going to say, I, I feel like whatever cartel's there will band together to stop that from happening. More than likely, yeah. If, if, if anything, you just create one strong Mexican cartel rather than having the Colombians take over. Or you, or the chaos you create is even worse than it was before. And that's a possibility, too. You could just have a giant war between the Colombian and Mexican cartels. And then that just turns into war between two countries. Mm -hmm. That's scary. Yeah. Every bit of what they dealt with there was scary as hell. Mm -hmm. You know, from the moment that they were in, that they got to Juarez and saw the bodies hanging from the bridge. Yeah. Uh, to not knowing who you can trust because you're just afraid that that's going to happen to you too. Yeah. And that's the thing is, these cartels are messed up people. You never know where it's going to come from because we saw, you no know, John Bernthal's characters just seemed like a random guy she met at the bar. But he was working for the cartel the whole time. No. You know, you, like you said, you see the bodies hanging out in the streets, seeming like normal people who are depositing money into the bank. They're acting on behalf of the cartel. You know? Exactly. And the thing is, too, you know, you didn't see it portrayed here, but you, but you hear the stories, too, about, you know, they have, like, shrines to the devil and stuff. Like, these are some really weird and bad people. Yeah, so, I mean, clearly, uh, whatever upbringing that you would have had is, is not with you anymore if you're doing things like that. Yeah. You know, but and and it and it's weird too because we see that guy sitting at his table with his family having a nice family dinner. Mm -hmm. But when I see him, all I think about are those bridges hang those bodies hanging from the bridge and those guys who died in their cars trying to get out. Yeah. And I'm just like, how can you sit here like this and pretend that you're a family that you're a man of God or something mm -hmm. with a family having a nice dinner? It's like it, it doesn't compute with me. He's just totally removed from all the Havoc you're creating around you. I just can't you know, say I see it. Mm -hmm. And that scene but there too, hard, where it's Del hard to, you know, it's, it's hard to make sense of. Yeah. And that scene too, where Del, Del Toro is talking to the guy and he's like, you know, hey, it was personal to me what you did to my family. It reminds me a lot of like Taken also, because we see it there at the it was the personal end. to him. Yeah. Yeah, where Liam Neeson's like, you know, hey, that was my daughter. You know, the guy's like, well, you know, human trafficking is just what we do. It's nothing personal against you. That's not the point. Any any business you, decision you make that involves the lives of others is going to be personal to For those somebody, others. Yeah. yeah, like you can't view the world in that kind of one-sided way. You have to consider all sides. Which is which is why it's like, man, he he was safe in his in his domain there, mm -hmm. and it makes me wonder, like, how the hell are you leading anything if you can't if you can't see things differently than the way you see it now? Saying that it wasn't personal, it's like you put somebody in a vat of acid and cut somebody else's head off. Who wouldn't take that personally? Yeah, you and and he's and I'm and I'm assuming he saw it all. He probably did. In that moment, I empathized with him hard, mm -hmm. really hard. Like I, I understand your desire to be there and kill all these people, but at the same time, you have to be the better man and like, okay, the family killing needs to stop. Yeah, but I was then taken back because it's like, man, I was I would have been okay if you just killed him, mm -hmm. but you killed his children. Yeah, that's the thing. I, I thought he was going to respect the guy's wishes, you know, take him off somewhere into the courtyard and shoot him. No, he just kills them all right there. And again, it's probably part of his revenge. Like, hey, you know, you killed my family in front of me. I'm going to kill your family in front of you. It goes back to that whole personal thing. An eye for an eye, yeah. Uh -huh. And in a way, it kind of, kind of represents what the guy was saying before he got killed. That, hey, you know, we learned it from you guys. Mm. You guys are no better than us, no matter what you think about what we Oh, did. that's a great point, because yeah. then then Alejandro, he's like, I learned it from you. Yeah. I, it's like, you did this to my wife, I'm doing this because I learned it from you. Because mm -hmm. this is this is the only language you know. Yeah. And now we're going to speak it. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. 
What a smart movie here. What I liked about it is that it didn't try to, you know, bullshit its way into your head and tell you every little thing that was going to happen. Mm -hmm. It let the pieces fall as they did so that you can figure it out rather than somebody saying, that's that, you know? Yeah. When you see what they were doing at the end, it makes sense why they were being very vague about the whole mission. Because a lot of what they were doing was not legal. Crossing the border, they were assassinating people outright. You really don't want someone to go in there knowing, okay... We're gonna we're gonna break the law. We need you to witness the whole thing. Right. Yeah. Great movie. Yeah. It's kind of weird because the pacing feels kind of slow as you're going through it, but at the same time, the movie feels shorter than what it actually is. No, for real. I, like I was expecting like some really big shootouts, like maybe some of these Delta Force guys would end up getting shot and killed or something. And that never happened. We actually saw them perform quite competently, which is very, which I thought was a nice touch because it's something unexpected but i kept expecting like some big shootout or something to come at the end like we've seen in so many other movies and really it was just a very small operations here and there kind of thing yeah but i mean it's the little things that get you to the big things there mm -hmm. so no i appreciate that very much too so, yeah it's a good point it's a very different perspective but it worked out i thought so too denis villeneuve did a great job putting it all together there mm -hmm. i wouldn't expecting i wouldn't expecting this from him honestly i mean you, you can see some of his signature touches like i, I think you mentioned the landscape i wasn't know? expecting the story yeah, this, the story is not what we're used to seeing from him, but I, like I said, I thought it turned out pretty good. It has his his, uh, his unique way on it, mm -hmm. for sure. Every every bit of it. It's like mm -hmm. I felt it throughout the entire movie. No, it was great. Yeah, it was. Well, family, as of right now, if you want to watch this movie, it's available to you on Peacock. You can go there, take a look at it, guys, with a subscription and watch it on Peacock. If you don't want to do that, guys, if you have it on, if you have the movie in a, on a hard copy, by all means, watch it. Uh, if you don't, the, the rent option is available to you as well, guys. There's no shortage of ways for you to watch Sicario if you haven't seen this movie. We highly recommend this one to yes, you. Yes, we do. Absolutely. Very good drama. Very good one. And as always, folks, if this is your first time to our channel, I hope you'll consider subscribing and help us grow. And if you enjoyed the video, leave a like and hit the bell so you can receive notifications whenever we drop our next video. And should you feel compelled to give us a piece of your mind, please do so in the comment section below, guys. Also, take a look at us on our socials. We're on Instagram and TikTok, guys. Go see what we're up to over there. But until next time, this has been Cocktail Flicks. I'm Joe. I'm Dan. We'll catch you on the flip side. Cheers to you, fam. Cheers to you, Dan. Cheers to you, Joe. Later, guys.